Ever seen a rusty nail and thought, what's going on here? Rust is more than just an eyesore, it's a fascinating chemical process. Time to dive into the world of metal reactions. These reactions are happening all around us, often unnoticed. Metals are like the social butterflies of the elements, they love to react with other substances. First up, water. Water is everywhere, and when it meets certain metals, the results can be quite dramatic. When metals like sodium meet water, they don't just sit quietly, they create a spectacular show. The reaction is so intense that it can even produce flames. It's like a firework in a beaker. The energy released is a sight to behold, but be careful. This reaction can be explosive. Always handle such experiments with caution and proper safety gear. Next, let's talk about acids. Acids are another group of substances that love to react with metals. Ever done a vinegar and baking soda volcano experiment? It's a classic science project that demonstrates a simple acid-base reaction. Replace baking soda with zinc and you get a different kind of reaction. You get a fizzing reaction that releases hydrogen gas. This is a more vigorous reaction compared to the baking soda and vinegar. Fun fact, this is how early scientists discovered hydrogen. They observed these reactions and identified the gas produced. Now, oxygen is the big one. Oxygen is all around us and is a key player in many metal reactions. When metals like iron react with oxygen, they form rust. This process is called oxidation. That's right, the stuff that makes your bike look old and worn out. Rust can weaken the metal over time, but not all metals rust the same way. Some metals form protective layers that prevent further corrosion. For example, aluminum forms a thin protective layer of aluminum oxide, which acts as a shield, keeping it shiny and new. This is why aluminum is often used in outdoor structures. Lastly, let's talk about the Statue of Liberty. This iconic monument has an interesting story of metal reaction. Made of copper, she turned green because of a reaction with air and water, forming a beautiful patina. This patina is actually beneficial. This layer actually protects the metal underneath from further damage. It's a natural protective coating. So next time you see a rusty nail or the green Statue of Liberty, remember it's all about those fascinating metal reactions. These reactions are a testament to the dynamic nature of metals and their interactions with the environment. Remember it's all about those fascinating metal reactions.